Well, I'm looking a little bit of a mess right now, so excuse me, but I've been, well, not wrangling two snakes, but I've been trying to grab two snakes, being my Lily and Jack. Lily's been wanting out. She was out. I had to go out, so I had to put her back. And, of course, she didn't want to go back. So open the door, and as you can see, they're there. Both of them are there. We can't see them because they're moving and they're grooving, but I'm heading outside because, again, it's an absolutely stunningly lovely day here in Queensland. We are so fortunate, but we also get it so hot. But I'm trying to find shade um, for them. So I'm going to move this blanket around because it's warm too. So we'll go around so they at least got shade and they can go to the sun or they can go under the tramp. Hey Jack, I think he knows already uh, where we're at. As you can see, both my snakes know where they're at. And it's like, cool, we can, we can get our mum. Jack has just shed. So he ate a few days ago. So he's ready to do some cruising uh, outside today. Don't have a topic at all. Swinging you around. You can see the two of these beautiful guys together. Uh, going to do whatever they they want to do and what I have to pick where the ants are so I'm going to have to uh, clear up those ants so excuse me while I actually <laughs> do that and move them away from them and Jack as well I don't need them uh, having ants all over them and guys you know I'm not too worried about ants being on them um, at all they're out in the wild what do you think happens? They don't have humans that that come along and scoot ants away for them. They just get rid of them themselves. <laughs> Hi beautiful girl. So yeah, as I said, I don't have a topic. I just, you know, these guys wanted out and I thought, cool, I'm I'm going to let you on out today. And uh get you out in the sun because we have had rain you know, beautiful one day and they say perfect the next but it kind of can be beautiful one day raining the next and perfect the next and raining the next at the moment that's summer here um, in Queensland and we also get a lot of rain over this period of time so you know it can be a bit difficult sometimes to get them out of course our spring is beautiful and our winter is as well. Um, we get some really, really nice days to venture on outside with our guys over the winter. And I know a lot of you don't have that. And uh, I don't take it for granted, believe me. I'm, I am very lucky to have that uh, with them. And as you can see, the difference between Jack and uh, Lily's girth, there's a bit of difference, but of course, as you know, Lily right now is not eating, so she's gonna have nothing in her belly. Trust me, there's nothing in this belly of hers right now. Jack, um, just before he shed, uh, went to the toilet. So, uh, yeah, he's not due for a feed for a little while so uh, he's good to go um, to cruise around and Lily's kind of just hanging out here for now certainly won't take her long to um, I think Jack will maybe go to the toilet in another way if Lily doesn't uh, disturb him too much doing it uh, you know, snakes can be a little bit like us. They like um, to not be disturbed when they're going to the toilet. So give him a little bit of peace, my Lily. 
just while it goes okay and then you can do oh, Jack just heard a bird and he's like oh is it gone and and fairly big flaps of the wings so you know he's he's realized and stopped he's realized that that was a mighty big bird and not just one of our little little ones very smart very 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 smart um, to pick up that themselves you think about it like I could hear those the air with those wings flapping and so could Jack so it broke his concentration of going to the toilet uh, but he'll get back to business of course because my snakes do we go outside and we go to the toilet and I had a very interesting comment place saying or sent to me on one of my videos today saying it's kind of just more seeing things if the snake is at the door going berserk and nuts it's more about them not liking their enclosure um, I guess was what was being said to me but I kind of think well, well no because I can open the door and uh, where are you going, sweetie? I can open the door and give my snakes a choice. Do you want to or don't you? And they could be fast asleep, curled up, doing their thing, while well, doing their thing, sleeping, which is what they do a lot of, as we know. Uh, and they don't, they, they come down it's not been because they've been at the door saying to me um, you know let me out they have uh, come on down all on their own and said yeah okay doors open I'll, I'll, I'd like to come out and then there's other times where they're fast asleep and doing their thing sleeping and they don't bother to come out so I can't say that um, I am seeing it as they're coming out because they don't like their enclosure. Because if that were the case, then I'm sorry if you can't see Jack. I'm I'm kind of doing a little. I don't want her. Sorry, I don't want her going up under a car either and we know Lily if she gets her sights set on something then that's where Lily's gonna go so it would be too hot up there on that dark trampoline it's black so that sun's hit it pretty hard sweetie you're in the shade there so how about you stay in the shade hey don't be so determined all the time I know you're a woman but please do you have to um, so, and, and you know, they make the choice. So, how is that anything other than, or how does that say to me that, oh, they come out because they don't like their enclosure? I, I, I don't kind of see it like that um, at all. And I do believe, you know, yes, they, they develop. <laughs> Look at my boy over there. I've got two of you periscoping and I don't know who to look at first. Because you're both gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I can't put it down to, I hate my enclosure, let me out. Because I don't believe that is the case at all. And I, I can tell the difference. You know, I know that Lily hasn't and wasn't happy. Don't please, 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 please. I know Jack is over there, but he, um, he's okay. 
she's so determined guys to to go to the car yeah well you just stay here with mum then you coming back dude you come back and say hello anyway tell me what you think your snake is mooching at the door do you see it as you know your snake's been in that enclosure you know for Lily it's different of course we know that she was not happy and not feeling very settled um, that's a little bit different look my darling hi handsome man hey beautiful boy you didn't go to the toilet yet um, but now Lily's fine in Jack's enclosure from what I see of her. So when you see your snake mooching at the door, do you perceive that to be, you go that way, just go over the other way, go over the other way. Do you see it as them not being contented in their enclosure or do you actually see it as they do want to come out and and explore. I'm not even going to say, oh, they only do that because they want to come out and be with me. There's an element of that involved in it. But I also see it as they know my room is a safe zone. It's something that they've been in for a long, you know, since some of them when they were little. Um, so it's like a second home to them. They know where they can go and lay and, and go to sleep all day if they if they want to. I I think they they just know that and are comfortable to do that in my room. And not necessarily about I hate my enclosure so I don't want to be in it. You know, yes I'm waiting on Lily to to settle a bit. Uh, but she's okay. She's doing all the Lily things that Lily has always done. She's still active and alert and doing Lily. So she's drinking, she's, yeah, she's all good. You gonna go to the loo, bud? You going to the loo? No birds. That bird totally distracted you, didn't he? first time around or did you think you well I'm outside I need to go that I should go to the toilet but I, I didn't need to really okay Lily so I don't know what this video is going to be like whether I made any sense because you know I just came out and went oh I, I really wasn't thinking about much about anything but like I said finding time of late to to get some videos going of the guys has been a little bit difficult and I do just pick up the camera and, and don't put a great deal of thought but hey it's coming outside it's bringing the guys outside and and it does give me a great opportunity to get some video time in with them as well and and it is time with me I do see it as that not just oh this is an opportunity let me grab my camera yeah I do think if that makes sense. I do think that because if I didn't guys I'd hardly ever get to pick up my camera so yeah what tells you or says to you my snake doesn't like its enclosure because it always wants to come out gosh Jack has been in his enclosure for three weeks going through the shedding process he ate a few days ago, so now he's in that mode of, okay, it's, it's time to come out. My belly's digested and, yeah, it's, now we're going to go to the toilet. You know, my belly's digested and now it's time to come out and enjoy life and get out there and explore. Lily's got nothing to digest and hasn't had for weeks, so she just, likes coming out full stop and and has been like that no matter what enclosure she's ever been sitting in even the one that she'd been in and was happy in and eating in she was still coming out 
um, and wanting out and doing her let me out thing so it's got nothing to do with I don't like my enclosure stuff it's what they've just become so used to I think I'm in zoom guys so not easy to see things when I'm in zoom there we go and Lily of course is wanting to go back to the car and Jack is looking out for birds and saying is it safe to just go to the toilet he keeps stopping and starting guys <laughs> it's like I'm not sure yet but come on dude you can go actually it's not too hot at all it's a beautiful breeze so um, I guess it would be rather hot continuously under the sun or in the direct sun but you know, it's nice and cool actually well not cool cool but quite nice pleasant pleasant is the word Lily what do you think mum come up close to you. Hey, what's Jack doing? What's Jack doing? What are you doing, man? Can't make up your mind, can you? Hey, come on over, say hello, Lil. What do you think? She's going under the car again. She's such a naughty girl. Little Miss Determined. Whoa. Well, compared to you, Jack, she is a little Miss Determined. You're a big boy, aren't you? Getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the day. Hey, I think if you snuggle here and get close to my legs and close to mum, you might go to the loo. Hey, what do you think? be good because I'm trying to wrangle a lily here so she don't head back to the car but I'm not having much luck oh fun and games fun and games hey don't you do it on my blankie oh I'll keep my eye on his tail if it starts doing the wiggle and jiggle, I'll just lift it up and I'll flip him onto the grass. But, um, yeah. There's Jack. Go and chase Jack. Go and see what the dude's doing. Hey. Don't get too close to that end at the moment. Or... So anyway guys, there you go, just Lily and Jack, I'll see, Jack and Lily, who is going back over to the car. Ah, uh, Miss Determine, come back to mum, please. Oh, spin yourself around, sweetie. Spin yourself around. Occupied for a little while. Jack's coming back. Jack never goes very far. Very rarely do I do a lot of chasing with him. He's uh, yeah, he's adventurous, but nothing like my Lily. Just different personality. To what? Uh, if I can find her, there she is. Totally different personality. <laughs> There's a little tail coming up to wrap. Wrap herself. So guys, yep, I'm going to end the video here. So I've got two hands instead of just one trying to keep up with my girl here. So I'm going to say to you all, take care of yourself your family. 
and uh, of course your snakes. Ciao. Well guys, just wanted to end the video because it may have taken Jack a little while but he went patience you see just patience and uh, yeah he knows go to the toilet and uh, he finally decided okay cool I'm, I'm ready now and and he went to the toilet so we've been out here for a good half hour or so so it's just taken him a little while so now he's finished doing his business. Haven't you, dude? I don't know if you can see him there. There you go. Looking right in the camera. Aren't you, dude? It's so awful. This mum awful boy. Are oh, you going to climb on it? Hey. Yeah, he's going to climb on it, guys. Hey. Oh, you want to come up on my shoulders? Lily's up on my shoulders because we're getting ready to go back in now. We've had plenty of time out. Really, we have. So, just to end it, I've already said my bye and my chow, so there you go.